crowd goes crazy. Punted right at the first base, and that's an easy play. Oh, he missed him! How in the world did that happen? Josh Beckett for the 21st. Back live now on the MLB pregame show, just a few minutes away from game three of the series. And while the final preparations are being made, we give you the top player spotlight. Pretty boy Wolverine will stride in now. Two hits for him, including a home run in last night's contest. First pitch on the way. Now a ball lined towards center field. And they're going to hit the board first tonight as this ball's down for extra bases. And the run will score as the Yankees grab the early 1-0 lead. Already their second double of the ball game here in the first inning. He's not fooled too many guys out there to this point, that's for sure. Pretty boy Wolverine will stand in. An RBI double to his credit the first time around. Now a hard hit ball back up the middle. Oh, and this kicks right off of him. Pretty boy Wolverine will lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground is short. And a good throw gets him one gone. Pretty boy Wolverine will step in. A ground out victim as last time. Here's the first offering. Oh, this ball's laced and it's going to get down into the right center field gap. And this is going to find the wall out near the Yankee bullpen. Around third is Yelich being waved home. And the runner will score from first. Pretty boy Wolverine will stand in and as you see needs only a big fly to complete this cycle. Now a ball hit high in the air and deep down the line in left. And he pushed it just a bit too much. It'll wind up a foul ball. Now the pitch. And he gives this one a pretty good ride down the left field line. And this will wind up being nothing more than a long foul ball, and it'll hold the count at 0-2. Bases are empty here with two men out. Now the pitch. And here's a ball hit in the air. And no one will track it down. Here comes another 0-2. And a changeup that just about got away from him there as that ran in a bit too far. Sometimes if you let that changeup go too soon, it'll take off on you. He's lucky that didn't hit him. Line hard. Foul. He'll try again, one, two. Swing, and I believe this one is going to find the seats as well. It does, so quite a battle here as it remains one and two. Here, we go. Right here it comes. Come on, guys. One, two pitch is swung on and lifted in the air out to center field. Quite a lot of offense in this one, but if we had to highlight one guy that made the difference, there he is. He's our top player of the game. Yeah, Matty. He definitely. To the warning track. Aaron Hicks, 420 feet from home plate, hauls it in. What a great catch by Aaron Hicks. With everyone standing at Dodger Stadium, Kershaw pitches. Carpenter swings and hits a drive. Right center field. It's in the gap. And it's down off the wall. Molina scores. Adams scores. Jay scores. Carpenter. He scores three with a double to right center. And the Cardinals lead 7-6. What a turn. Matt Vaskersian back now on the MLB pregame show. And as we draw closer to first pitch here in the finale of this four-game set, we present the Topps player spotlight. Pretty boy Wolverine will be our subject. 
Pretty Boy Wolverine will stand in right on the heels of a four for five ball game a night ago. And this is lifted the other way to left center. Number 13 is there and they breeze through this half inning as the side is retired. Pretty Boy Wolverine will dig in here. He flew out his first time around. Now here's the first pitch. And he goes the other way as this is hit high and deep out to straightaway left. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. Solo shot here to left, number 701. Now for this Hall of Fame career as the Yankees will grab a one to nothing lead. The pretty boy Wolverine will get another shot. He homered his last time. And this is hit hard up the middle. And that will get down as he delivers a big one here. It's a base hit. And that'll score the runner from third as they'll open up a 3-1 to one lead. Pretty boy Wolverine will dig in. He homered back in the fourth. Now here's the first pitch. And this is fouled back and out of play. Eighth inning of this low-scoring affair. Three to one, our score. And the pitch. He's able to ride this one high and deep forward right center. A leap, but he can't bring it back into the park. It's a home run. Solo shot to right center. Career home run number 702 as the Yankees have taken a 4-1 to one lead. Well, this guy's got to be at the point where he's thinking, do we really need to play another team after this? I mean, this is now four home runs for him in the series. You talk about a guy that looks comfortable up there. He's just having his way with the entire... And now the 1 1 delivery, and here it is, and it's swung on a high drive left center field. Full going back. He's to the track, and he's right to the wall. He's there. He squeezes it, and the A's have won it. Three consecutive years in the postseason for the Oakland A's. 2 1. That is dead to left field. Cespedes giving chase. Not going to get there. It falls in. Kendrick on his way to third. Cespedes fobbles it. DeSarcina waving. Ke And now, your New York. Pretty boy Wolverine will dig in, and he's got to be licking his chops as he has absolutely owned this guy in his career. And here's a ball hit in the air. And that ball's going to land between them. Pretty boy Wolverine will get a shot here in a bases loaded situation, and you'd have to say they've got the right man for the job up here. Yeah, team leader in RBIs. He's got a shot to push that lead out even further if he could come through here. Over towards the dugout, but this one will get into the stands. Here you go. Let it fly right here. Hey, find something you like up there. Can we tell you From the stretch. And he'll try to hold back on the pitch inside, but he pretty clearly broke the plane that time. It's strike two. Eric Karros, this Red Sox ball club, entering play here tonight. Despite the loss last time out, they've been in a real good groove lately. Victorious in seven of their last nine. Yeah, and they dropped the opener of the series and of the road trip last time out. I thought they came out a little flat, but still plenty of time to turn that around, though. Let's go. Now a breaking ball runs in on him as he's got to get his hands out of the way on that pitch. You worry a little about things snowballing from here? Well, you know, these are two teams that don't traditionally care for each other too much, so we've seen this go south before. He'll fight just to stay alive here as this is fouled away. Here's another one-two. Look out! That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. And with the bases loaded, 
why not take one for the team right there and let that pitch hit you? It could have been a run. A deep breath, now the 2-2. Big swing, but a little dribbler here to the right side of the mound. Throw on to first, and the Yankee threat goes by the boards as the inning is over. Pretty boy Wolverine will dig in here. One for two. He's singled and grounded out so far. Pretty boy Wolverine. And this is fouled back and out of play. The pitch. And this ball's heading for the seats down the right side as the count will move to 0-2 now. Here it comes. Hey, check this guy out. Let's go. And he reaches for one out of the zone and misses rather badly for the first out. And a very good performance offensively for this bunch. But out of everyone, I think we should single out this fellow right here. What a sensational play. The runner tags and advance into third. Jackie Bradley, Superman in the alley. And how about the appreciation from these fans? A spectacular catch. Put it right at the first base. And that's an easy play. Oh, he missed it. How in the world did that happen? That is extreme agility by a former football player. That looked like he was heading into the secondary and evaded the free safety. And the pitch, and Blanco bunts it, and it's a good bunt. Goat has it. He will wing it down the right field line. To center. Hicks going back. And now over. Makes the catch of a warning drag. Aaron Hicks, 400. Now on three and two to Utley with Rollins leading from second. Here's a pitch from Beckett. Ball strike three and a no. Inside the show with Justin Allegri. Hello there, baseball fans. Before Tuesday's action gets kicked off. Inside the show with Justin Allegri. Welcome, baseball fans, to our Wednesday edition of Inside. With everyone standing at Dodger Stadium, Kershaw pitches. Carpenter swings and hits a drive. Right center field. It's in the gap. And it's down off the wall. Molina scores. Adam scores. Jay scores. Carpenter. He scores three with a double to right center, and the Cardinals lead seven to six. Inside the show with Justin Allegri. Welcome, everyone. Let's jump right in and revisit the news and events from Monday. Starting in the AL East, the Red Sox continued their legendary rivalry with the Yankees in New York. Inside the show with Justin Allegri. Happy Hump Day, everyone. As we hit the halfway point of the week, let's take a look back at Tuesday's news and results. Looking first at the American League East, the Boston Red Sox took on the rival Yankees in New York, and it was the Yankees who came out on top. The final was 10 to 1. The Yankees starting pitcher, number 56, gave the bull. Big lead again for the Bill Cardinals in a magical seventh inning. Closing in on first pitch this Your evening from Yankee Your Stadium here in the Bronx. And let's not forget our two starting pitchers as you see how they match up for this one. Pretty boy Wolverine will get his first opportunity now. And as you can see, he begins play with 35 home runs for the season. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. And this will find the wall out near the visitor's bullpen. Around third and being waved on home. And the runner will score from first. And he will make it all the way around the bases. It's an inside the park two-run home run. And you can pretty much see this starting to set up out there right about when he hit first base. Remember, this guy can absolutely fly. So he just put his head down and he said, I ain't stopping. And he makes it all the way around to score for the inside the park home run. Now a swing and a bouncing ball toward the hole. And a reach to his backhand, but he can't come up with it. And 